Next, I'll show you how to change your margins. So we click on layout at the top. Make sure that we have clicked within the, um, the document. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another keyboard shortcut, either control A or if you're using a Mac, command A. And that highlights the entire document. So you're going to need to do this if you've already started writing in the document. Click on margins and then you'll see that there are some preset margins here. Um, but we also have um, the last custom setting that I made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, another custom margin. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to tailor. So I'm going to put the top at 2.5, the bottom at 2.5, the left at 2, and the right at 2 you'll see that it's, it's already selected, um, applied to whole document. If it hasn't um, preset that, then make sure that you click apply to whole document and then click OK, then click last custom setting. So here you'll see um, that the margin at the top is slightly um, longer than that at the sides and you can actually check it yourself via the ruler. Let's say that you need to get your thesis or dissertation bound and um, your school requires you to have a, a wider margin on the left hand side. Again, we can click control A or command A, go back to custom margins, perhaps the left hand side needs to be four centimeters. OK, and there we can see that that margin has been applied. So make sure that you check your research degrees handbook to make sure that your margins are as required for your programme.